Hello and welcome back to Projects in Java. Today we are starting our game project. Uh, today we'll be building a block breaker game. So let me go ahead and demo that for you and talk about the objects that we're going to be using. So here we have the finished project. We can press enter to start the game. And you have some power-ups to launch extra balls. And you have the blocks on top that are being destroyed when they get touched by the ball. And the paddle moves left and right using the arrow keys. And it's a pretty simple game, but it is pretty fun. And it has a lot of uh, moving parts, a lot of different uh, code that we need to implement. Um, we have a WT. We're going to be using a lot of uh, classes from this um, toolkit. It's called the Abstract Window Toolkit, and we'll look take a look at those imports right now in a bit. Okay, and so if you read on this page, it says that it gives us objects to windowing, graphics, and user interface widgets. Um, so that's things like rectangles. You can display images. So each of those um, blocks uh, was an image, but it was also a rectangle. And we'll talk more about that. Um, the first thing we're going to create is our uh, window. Our, it's called a J-frame. So, so let's create our project. And this is just a regular Java project this time. And we'll call this block breaker. And we'll create a main class. Well, we'll start the game. So here, the first thing that we're going to need is our main function. And after we have this, we will create And so we'll create our J frame. We'll call this frame equals a new J frame. And we can pass this a string argument. And this string argument is going to be the name of the window. Do our import. We'll set frame to visible. Equals true. We'll also set the size. And the next thing we want to do is set the default close operation. And the reason why I want to do this is because the Java executable uh, will still be running even when we close the window. And if we run it a few times, you'll end up with a lot of processes from uh, Java. And this is how you set it. And we can test this. And here's our block breaker window. And so in our J frame, we can add J panels. So we'll need to create that panel. And we're going to use a new class that we're going to make right now. We're going to call that block breaker panel. Panel equals new block breaker panel. Okay, we'll add that to the frame. Okay, now we need to create that class.
Okay, and our block breaker panel is going to extend J panel. Go import there also. The first thing that we're going to add here is some array lists. We'll start off with one first. And so the way the array list uh, works is that you can uh, create an array list of certain type of objects. Um, you can do integers, strings, anything like that. You can create an array list of objects. And so uh, we are going to create a new class uh, called block and we'll create an array list of blocks. So we'll call this blocks. And we'll create the default constructor. And now we need to create the block class. In the block class, we're going to extend rectangle. There's a lot of useful functions in rectangle. We have an intersect function that we'll be using um, later. We have um, width, height, um, the position. So um, by extending we automatically inherit all of those um, very helpful functions. And so here we'll have a constructor that takes five arguments. We have an integer, we're going to have four integers and a string argument. Do our import of rectangle and we'll set the values of the rectangle. Our x and y. Then our width and height. We'll also add an image in here. Do our import of that. So we're going to call our function from uh, our toolkit. to get the image based on the string that we're passing in. And the last thing we're going to do for now is create a draw function. And so this is going to draw our block onto the screen. It's going to use the image so we're going to call from the graphic g dot draw image and we'll have the picture, the x and y of our rectangle with the width and height of our rectangle. 
and the component that we created. Do our imports. Okay. And so now we're going to add to the array list. We'll do our import of array list also. And to do that, we'll create a for loop. And we'll create eight blocks. We'll add to blocks, new block, put in our parameters here. And I have an image that I need to put in. We'll create blue blocks first. And let's copy our images to the folder. So now we have our blocks set up. Now we need to draw them here in the panel. So we have a function for that public void paint component. And that uses a graphic. Do our import of graphic. And so here we're going to use a for loop based off of the array list. The for loop always iterates over all the objects in the array list. So for every block, let's be in blocks, we are going to call draw from B. I'm going to pass that our graphic and this as the arguments. And there are blocks at the top. And we'll correct the size on that. That's actually because in the finished project, I have the resizable set to false. So in our main class, we'll set the frame resizable to false. And that should, yep. So that gives us the correct um, width and height for our blocks. We can create some more in different colors. And so we're just going to take the same for loop. We are going to move them down 25 pixels each time. So here 25, here 50, and here 75. And we'll change the colors, give some red blocks some green blocks, and some yellow blocks. And there we go. So now we need to create the interaction with the ball. We need to create the ball and create the paddle. So we'll create those in the next videos.